Welcome back to M for Movies. Let's uh, do do one more 2021 uh, movie uh, ranking video here. Uh, I already put out my top 10 about a month ago, like New Year's. I uh, put out my top 10 uh, plus uh, plus some honorable mentions. Uh, I didn't really do my 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 worst of, um, but uh, but anyways, uh, on this list here for a tier ranking this is a hundred and eight movies so i'm probably gonna i'm gonna throw them in the uh in in the uh tiers but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put them in order uh and i might say a little two cents here and there uh first before i start before i start this uh this video uh make sure that you if you are not subscribed to me subscribe and hit that like button and uh, yes, let's have some fun here. Uh, before I get going on the list, you can see, okay, so so tiers are a 10, 9 out of 8, 7 to 6, 5 to 4, 3 to 2, a 1, and I haven't seen yet. Because even though I've seen about 300 uh, 2021 movies, there are still a handful that I haven't seen. Uh, so let me show off the movies to you. There's all the movies. There's a lot. Holy shit, there's a lot. Okay. But before we get started, all I'm going to I'm going to put I'm going to put all the movies that I haven't seen up in the haven't seen yet. So um Cherry Um what the hell's that? What is that? I have no clue what that movie is. So what, what is that? All right, so I think that's everything. All right. Just double check here really fast. All right, starting things off with Malcolm and Marie. I loved Malcolm and Marie so much. Uh... I don't know if I gave it a 10, but we're going to go with an extremely high 9 to 8 range. It's an extremely high 9. Loved it so much. I do know I gave Judas and the Black Messiah a 10 out of 10. This is a flawless masterpiece in my opinion. Okay. Um, the Little Things. It was like a five to four range. It was meh. To all the boys, three from Netflix. Um, I think it's a five to four. It's at least a five. If I do remember right. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of of uh, Willy's Wonderland, uh, so we're gonna go with a, a high three on that. I believe I did. Tom and Jerry freaking sucked, so three to two range. Uh, Raya and the Last Dragon. I love that movie so much. I saw it in theaters. It was really good. So Raya and the Last Dragon is a nine to eight range. We got Zack Snyder's Justice League cut. You know what's up there in the 9 to 8 range. Coming to America. Beep, beep. Uh, 5 to 4. Um, no. 7 to 6. More closer to 6. Nobody. And nobody is 9 to 8 range. Godzilla vs. Kong, another great one, I really did love it, uh, 98 range. K-1, 
Chaos Walking. Yes, I saw Chaos Walking in theaters. Um, five to four. Emphasis on four. Uh, Thunder Force. Kind of sucked. We're going to go with a three to two range. Mortal Kombat! I was a huge fan of this adaptation of Mortal Kombat. And so we're going to go with a nine to eight range. Uh, this is that... Uh, this is that alligator movie that's on Netflix. And it's alright. Maybe in the four range. Five to four range. Animated movie. Ooh. Oh shit. Mitchells versus machines. Fucking nine to eight range. That, that movie's awesome. I love it. Uh the woman in the window. Yeah. Um, five to four range. Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead is going to go up there in the nine to eight range. That's awesome. Um, Spiral. Spiral is a seven to six range. Those Who Wish Me Dead, I really did love that movie, and we're going to go with a, uh, 7 to 6 range. Um, 9 and 8, closer to 8. I'm going to add a new tier. Uh, this is a 2020 list um my opinion letterbox has a quiet place part two on a 2020 2020 release date it has not it's not a 2021 movie so in my opinion quiet place is a 2020 movie so that's where the extra little category goes in there all right uh cruella i really did enjoy cruella and it'll go up to the 9 to 8 range. Conjuring. Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. I really did enjoy it. And we're going to go with a 9 to 8 range. Um, yeah. Yeah, no. No, I'm going to put it at a uh, 7 to 6. That's a good spot for that. Alright, this is uh, Spirit Untamed. Movie kind of sucked. We're going to go we'll do a 3 to 2 range. In the Heights. Wasn't the biggest fan of In the Heights. Uh, and so we're going to go with a uh, low 6. Wish Dragon. Uh, rip off of Aladdin right there. Uh, 3 to 2 range. Peter Rabbit 2. I actually really did enjoy Peter Rabbit 2. And we go with a uh, 7 to 6 range. Uh, Luca will be 7 to 6 range. Not the greatest from Pixar. Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard. We are going to go with a 7 to 6 range. Fast 9 is I don't think I gave it 7.6 so I'm thinking yeah that's bad I don't have, well I don't think I gave it an 8 so we're going to go with a 7 out of 6 Fatherhood that's a good movie uh, I think I gave it like an 8 range with Kevin Hart so we're going to go with that Boss Baby 2 Kind of sucks. It was bullshit. Uh, three out of two. Uh, the Tomorrow World, or Tomorrow War. I saw this extremely late in the year. Uh, I actually liked it. So, I can eat. First Purge. Yeah. Uh, five to four range. A Black Widow baby. Black Widow. 
Come on, you know I'm a Marvel fanboy. Bam. 9 to 8 range. Loved it. Escape Room. Uh, game ch Champions, Champion of Games or whatever. Whatever it's called. Um, like a 7, uh, seven to 6. Isn't that bad of a sequel? Oh, this is bullshit right here. Space Jam. Three out of three out of two. Uh, between three and two. All right, so we got the Fear Streets. Uh, so we got. Uh, all right, so this is uh, this is ninety four. I believe it's ninety four. Or ninety two or ninety four. Uh, we're going to go with a um, nine and eight on there. Uh, 78 is going to be between 7 and 6. Wasn't as good as uh, 94. Might be getting the dates wrong. I'm sorry. And then 1666 was actually my favorite out of the uh, out of the movies. And so that'll be 9 out of 8. Uh, Snake Eyes. Actually, not that bad. I really did enjoy it. And I'm going to go with a, a low 8 out of 10. I really did like it. Uh, old. Old's kind of bullshit. Uh, between a 5 and a 4. Emphasis on a 4. Uh, Jungle Cruise. Meh. Shit, where'd it go? There we go. Jungle Cruise is going to be about a solid five. It was meh. Ooh, the Suicide Squad. I loved it. Loved it. If you are not watching Peacemaker on HBO Max, you are missing out. Some good shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Kissing Booth. Kissing Booth uh, was. It, it wasn't a one. It was like a three to two, but Kissing Booth three it sucked. Uh, Don't breathe two. You know what? I'm gonna give it a um, five to four range. Free guy. Free guy is a nine to eight. Free guy was pretty awesome. Pretty much, if you follow me on Letterbox, uh, you you've You've seen my full list, um, but just in case you don't, here's another way that I can reveal some of my favorite movies. Coda. Coda is fantastic, so I'm going to go, Coda gets the uh, 10, um, so there we go. I really, really do hope, I really do hope Coda gets nominated for a lot of Oscars. Uh, that's, that's, that's what I hope for. Paw Patrol. Yes, I saw Paw Patrol on uh, Paramount Plus, I believe. And uh, guess what? It was bullshit. Three out of two. I know. I'm completely not the audience, but a movie is a movie, you know? Uh, Reminiscence. is like an average movie so we're gonna go with a five out of four sweet girl yeah five out of four the green knight freaking amazing a24 movie right there i loved it so that goes up to the nine to eight range. I loved it. Um, I just zoomed in on me. No, I don't want to zoom in. There we go. Okay. Uh, Candyman. Candy means like a seven to six. That wasn't that bad. Vacation friends. 
uh, vacation with friends or something like that. Uh, did anybody else see this? No? Okay. Well, you can ignore it. Uh, three out of two. The uh, Mortal Kombat uh, Legends animated movie, whatever. Uh, seven out of six. Emphasis on the six. Shang-Chi. I freaking love Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi is so underrated. Hold on. Cinderella sucked. Two out of three. Or three to two range. Uh, Malignant was a really great movie. And we're going to go with a... Uh, I'm going to go with a high 7 on that. 7 to 6 range. Cry Macho. Meh. Five out of four. Kate. Kate is a five out of four. Kate was from Netflix. Dear Evan Hansen. This movie sucked. But it wasn't the worst. Three out of two. Uh, Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Five, five out of four. Or between five and four. Okay. Adam's Family 2. Five out of four. They, they should not make a third one. Uh, this is, um... This is that Saints movie, that Soprano movie. I'm actually going to give this... I generally did enjoy it. And we're going to go with a 9 to 8 range. Uh, this is the Guilty remake with uh, Joel and Hall. Seven to six range. Emphasis on six. No time to die from James Bond. Nine to eight range. It's really good. Really good send off for Daniel Craig. All right, the last, uh, the last duel or whatever the hell it was called. Uh, Five out of four, uh, besides the the actual duel part, uh, this movie kind of, eh, me. Alright, Halloween Kills. I'm thinking between seven and six right now. I got, I'm going to rewatch it, but seven and six. Uh, Dune is... About a seven to six. Um, Ron's gone wrong. Me. Five out of four. Last night in Soho. Really great movie. Ninety eight range. Uh, Army of Thieves. Seven to six range. Antlers. This was a late watch for me. But Antlers was really good. I really did enjoy it. And we're going to go with a solid seven out of six. French Dispatch. Nine out of eight. Fantastic movie. Almost to one last row. Eternals. I'm a Marvel fanboy. 
You know what? 98 range. Emphasis on an 8. Finch. Excellent movie. Excellent Tom Hanks movie on Apple TV. Excellent. 98 range. Spencer. I swear if Kristen Stewart does not get nominated and if this does not get nominated for cinematography, I don't know what I'm going to do. Fantastic movie. One of my favorites of the year. 9 to 8 range. Emphasis on a high 9. Clifford. Clifford kind of sucked. Clifford was a bad dog. <laughs> um, about a 4. This movie sucked. Home Sweet Home Alone. That movie fucking sucked. Oh my goodness. That movie sucked. Um, I might even just keep it right there in the one spot. I don't know why the fuck they even made that movie. Uh, Red Notice. Red Notice. Completely forgettable movie. Um, 7 out of 6. Emphasis on 6. Oh, this was a good, good one. King Richard. Absolutely loved King Richard. Will Smith. He's going to win the Oscar. I'm telling you. That, that it's his Oscar. Ghostbusters Afterlife. I saw this extremely late too. Um, but I loved it. So we are going to go with a... 9 to 8 range, emphasis on a 9. Uh, tick, tick, boom. Wasn't a huge fan of it. I'm going to drop it right there. Uh, between the 5 and 4 range. It was, eh, I was a musical guy. Licorice Pizza, I saw this down in the uh, Houston area. So I really did enjoy it. Put that at a 9 to 8 range. Uh, Power of the Dog on Netflix with Benedict. Uh, pretty amazing. That is an awesome movie. So we're going to go all the way up back up to 9 out of 8. If this is in the 9s. Spider Man No Way Home. The best of the MCU Spider Man movies. 9 out of 8, solid 9 out of 10. Two more. Matrix Resurrections. Movie was kind of butt. Uh, 5 to 4 range. He tried. And the last one is Don't Look Up. Uh, Don't Look Up is a solid. I don't know. It's it's like a high 7. Uh, I might have gave it an 8, but we're going to go with a high 7 on that one. So, anyways. That's it. That's it for this. For 2021. And just about, I don't know, like 90 movies here. Uh, so, you see my 10s. It's Judas and the Black Messiah, which can is not part of this year's Oscars. Because it was already uh, uh, the last Oscars. And uh, Coda, for sure. Oscar material right there. You can see all my 9 to 8s. 7 to 6s. 5 to 4s. 3 to 2s. And the one with uh, Home Sweet. Or Home Sweet, Home Alone. Movie sucks. And I haven't seen yet. And then I categorize Quiet Place Part 2 as a 2020 release. So, because that's what it says on box. So, alright, there we go. Whew. As always... Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video for the heck of it, dislike if you want to, I'm not going to see that dislike, comment with what uh, your thoughts on 2021, give me some of your favorite picks, and uh, yeah, that's it, until my next uh, tier ranking list, take care everybody, and uh, stay safe and stay healthy out there for uh, 2022, so alright, bye bye everybody.